Hello friends, welcome to the next video. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the biggest secrets in drumming. Now, I don't know why it's become a secret. Well, I think I have an idea. Uh, because it's, first of all, it's not easy. Second of all, it's not something that everyone talks about. In fact, I've only seen a very few guys talking about this. One of the guys that uh, has done the most in-depth study about this is Efren Toro. If you don't know Efren, go look him up. He's everywhere. He's an incredible musician, fantastic teacher, and someone who has influenced me a whole lot. Okay, so what is the secret? What is the biggest secret? Okay, I'm going to show you what it is right now. Okay, it's not what you think. It's not stick twirling. It's not hair. It's not the blush does. It's not anything that you see in popular drumming culture. Why? Because it's something that's not easily perceivable by the average human being. It's not something that's easily attainable by the player. But it's something that every top player knows, especially in the United States. Every top player uses it to its fullest extent. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you what it is. Here it is. This is what it is. This is a three bar cycle. One, two, three. One of the most common rhythmic motifs in music from the United States, especially. Eight notes, one, two, three bars. One, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. As you can see, it cycles in three bars. The math of this is incredibly beautiful. When you don't use this, great players can tell you don't know what you're doing, okay? Playing beats and patterns, licks, okay, without rhythmic knowledge is like being a, a trained seal, basically. <laughs> you're missing out on a huge, beautiful part of music and drumming. Rhythmic motifs are what gives you an unending amount of vocabulary, an infinity into an, an, an infinite look into the world of rhythm and possibilities in phrasing. When you play only binary phrases, there's only so far you can go. And speed, the human body is only capable of a certain amount of speed. So in music, you're going to be like a binary, play, binary meaning divisible by two all the time, or 32nd notes or 16th notes. No matter what combinations you do, it's always going to be binary. You can do all the fancy bass drum, you know, tom combinations you want. It's always going to be binary. And it's like painting yourself into a corner creatively, creatively okay? Now, there are three melodies to this, okay? And there are an endless amount of permutations. So let's say you have a basic four-piece kit, okay? Yeah. Then you have a hi-hat, two cymbals, and a crash. That's eight pieces. Eight times eight notes, okay? Times three melodies. The math starts to add up. Plus permutations, endless permutations, times eight. Now the math is unbelievably beautiful, okay? If you start to do those numbers, the amount of combinations you have 
goes into the thousands. Now, when you add diminution and augmentation, those numbers start to, I mean, it, it becomes incredible. Okay, but yeah, let's keep doing gospel chops, licks, and copying this guy and copying that, because that's what's easy. Okay, what's not easy is taking responsibility for your creativity, for your output as a drummer. That takes guts, it takes study, and it takes persistence and years of dedication. If you see the proliferation of children videos, you'll see how easy it is to obtain playing some patterns with really easy pop songs, okay? That's not the beauty of drumming. The beauty of drumming is what's underneath the phrasing, the math, the mathematical possibilities in drumming. That is the beauty. Now, if you look at drumming from, from India, you know, that's a prime example. This is also used in, in Brazilian music, in Afro-Cuban, in rock, in jazz especially, in few, I mean, anything that has to do with drumming, this is used, okay? It's been squashed. It's been squashed and squashed and squashed because why? It's, it's not easily accessible. It's, like I said, it's not easily accessible, perceivable to the average human being. And it's not accessible to the player. It's not easy to obtain. It's not something that can be sold and you can achieve easily and that people will buy. You know, you gotta buy, buy, buy. They wanna sell you the superficial stuff because that's the biggest market in drumming, what's easily attainable, okay? That's not what being a pro is about. Being a pro is about the road less traveled. It's about the beauty of drumming, not the superficial stuff. It's about achieving a, a way to express yourself that is deep, profound, and that won't paint you into a corner, okay? When you use this phrase, you will never be painted into a corner because it's infinite, okay? The possibilities are endless. In jazz, it's, part, it's a standard part of the vocabulary, okay? If you're not using this, you're not playing jazz. You're just playing beats and independence exercises. It's one of the big secrets in drumming, I think, because there hasn't been a way to explain it to, in a way that's easy to conceptualize. Now there is, okay? I have all of this, all of these things are on my lesson site. If you wanna join my lesson site, I, I highly recommend you join my lesson site. If you wanna learn this, this is what professional players know. Okay, like I said, if you're not using this, it, all the great players that you play with will know that you don't understand this. So, what more can I say? I hope that this has inspired you and, and open, it's opened your curiosity about rhythm. Because rhythm is where the beauty is. In drumming. Now, if you if you look at this, it has three, one, two, three, three bars. There's many mysterious things about the number three. I think part of the thing when jazz came out, you know, they were saying it's devil music, you know, don't listen to that devil music. It's because it had a lot of this in there. The mystery. You know. <laughs> There was things that the average person could not understand, why it made them feel a certain way, why it made the music move a certain way. It's devil music. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. 
but there are a lot of mysterious things about the, nu the number three. This cycle can be used in 4-4 four, four, and cut time. It can be used in 5, in 7. Okay, it's always a three bar cycle in those time signatures. There's a huge amount of things that you can do with this. And not only does it increase your rhythmic awareness and vocabulary, but it gives you better time, feel, and it helps you understand musical structure. Musical structure is a huge part of musicianship that you absolutely have to know to play drums effectively, okay? If you're just playing beats and patterns and licks that you got off of whoever, it's not going to cut it in the real world, okay? You need to step up. You need to step up and study, okay? It's time. There's nothing wrong with being a man and accepting <laughs> that you have to study. I still study. It never ends. It never ends. That's part of the beauty. Okay? To stay in the same place is, is crazy when there's so many beautiful things about drumming that are unexplored. Okay? Alright. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that I will see you on my lesson site. 150 bucks gets you into the full year program. Okay, one entire year of all my material that will change your life forever. I guarantee that the study of this type of material is going to change your life. Not only your drumming life, but your regular life too. Because what happens is that you start to see through a bunch of things. There is a matrix, you know, in the music industry. They don't want you to know this stuff because you start to become a deeper human being. They want you to, to stay on the surface so they can sell, sell, sell garbage. You know, put out the same thing over and over and sell you things that you can consume. The average person doesn't hear this. But you, as a musician, you must take responsibility for your music. Okay? For your drumming and for the beauty that you can express through these type of things. Okay, friends, see you on the next video.